Hey guys, it's Britt, and I wanted to clear some stuff up and uh, talk a little bit about my video that I made this morning. I'll, I'll link it up here in case you hadn't seen it, but um, it was essentially a rant about ARCs and BookCon, and I, I really want to stress that that okay like what I want people to understand and what I thought I was conveying by putting you know jealousy and such in my thumbnail I, I, I wanted to make it clear that that was coming from a place of envy and jealousy and Perhaps I came off as uh, dramatic or what what have you, and maybe it was dramatic, but I was just expressing how I felt in in the moment, and believe me, I spent a lot of time talking to people about this, uh, not only yesterday, but today and I I think that people may have misconstrued what I said with me taking away from that person's experience. Yeah, BookCon, BEA is, is very special. And the people that, that get to go, I'm glad that they went and they got the arcs that they wanted. That's a, that's a very, very special thing. And um, up until a few years ago, uh, arcs going to, uh, for lack of a better word, the general public, because that's what so what booktubers are. Uh, numbers don't matter. They they are the general public. Mostly. Uh, there are exceptions like uh, uh, let's say uh, Steve Donahue for example. That's, that's what he does for a living. He gets review copies frequently in the mail and he he's gracious enough to uh, open his ooh, his, uh, his mail with us and uh, share what he will be reviewing and that those are usually advanced reader copies um usually sometimes he'll get finished copies um but regardless he he gets books in the mail for free to review because that's that's what he does for a living most of us on booktube don't do this for a living we, we do it because we want to have fun. And, um, jealousy is a nasty thing. Uh, but in the moment, we, we all have moments where we're jealous or we're envious and uh, we don't project our best selves and that was that video, this the video that I made about BEA arcs and BookCon. It wasn't meant to be dramatic. It I I keep it real on this channel, and I attempt to to give you all me. The raw me. The real me. I don't like putting on a performance. I don't even script my videos. Um, no no shade to anybody that scripts their videos. If, if that's what you do, that's what, that's what you do. But, um, I'm sorry if some people took my video 
the wrong way. But um, it wasn't a dramatic thing. It, it was just me in the moment being a 24-year-old who basically was crying because she didn't get to go to BookCon and she, she was upset that she didn't get to go to BookCon and I could have saved to go to BookCon if I had uh, known about it earlier because I didn't know that BookCon and BEA were in the same uh, the same building so I found out too late and I didn't get to go and part of me is also really bitter about another convention that I usually go to um, every year and I'm not going this year um, because of a few reasons. One, I can't afford the hotel expense, and two, um, it's a hard time uh, for me right now. Um, for those of you who may be new, I one of my best friends is going, and while I would. Uh, I would love to see her beautiful, wonderful face. I, um, as much as I would love to see her face to face and not just talk to her through a computer screen, um, at least this year. You'd think almost a year would, you know, have somebody be over a breakup, and I'm not. And And right now, I just, I can't, I can't do it. I can't go in a place where we had memories of when we were together. And I'm very fortunate to call her one of my best friends. But I still wish we were more. And we're not. And there is nothing that I can do about that. And I can't force a relationship. I can only hold on to hope that it'll change in the future. And, um, maybe it will, maybe it won't. But the point is, um, if I seem, if I seem off, or angry, or upset about silly things, it's, um, it's not you. Me, and uh, I 
I'm lucky. Lucky to have the life I had. Lucky to have the people in my life that I do. And I'm lucky to still have her because I know how bad it sucks for somebody to just walk out, end it, and walk away. And she didn't walk away. She stayed with me. Just not in the way that I was hoping she would. And as dumb as it is to uh, say when you talk to somebody for, you know, every day from the time you wake up to the time you fall asleep, um, I'm lucky to have her, but There's a difference between friendship and relationship. And a, f a band by the name of Framing Hanley has this uh, song. Um, there's this lyric that goes... I'm still in love with her. Yeah, I'm still in love with her. And that's the lyric. And uh, that's me. And I love this girl with all my heart. So, yeah, I, uh, sorry guys, it's just tough for me right now, and, um, I'm gonna do a book review, I'm gonna gonna calm down and then I'm gonna do a book review and I'll see you guys soon. I love you guys. Uh